Welcome back to Polybridge 3. I'm attempting to beat the entire game using only half my allotted budget, which means for this level, I have $10,000 to get this beautiful blue van to the star and then to the flag. Now I could make a beautiful arch bridge that looks something like this, but bridges are expensive, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm gonna make a tiny, tiny ramp here, prop it up against the wall and just see what happens. You see how it hasn't splashed yet? What if I could get it to tumble off that rock? Like that. So now I gotta build a road that actually catches the van, somehow without breaking. Imagine if I brace against the rock, I'll at least have a good start. But I also have to have a good finish, and that's the hardest part. Because also, the bridge can prevent it from tumbling. Bad. So I move the catching road a little higher up, and that means it maybe can handle it. No, still buckles. So this piece broke. I think it's just a good candidate for steel. Hopefully this steel helps. I also changed around the starting ramp a bit. Oh, it sticks the landing. 6,900. And a cool fifth place. People got it for 2,500. Oh, can I see it? This one's 3,500, it's pretty close. That is so bare bones. Oh, we need a road right here to change the landing. I can't believe how slow that is. Well, if it's slow, then it doesn't hurt the bridge much. That's crazy. And somehow people got it for a thousand cheaper. That is mind boggling. Next level only gives me 12,000 to work with. I got two very cool new cars, collecting overlapping checkpoints and reaching their flags on the right. And because they both have high horsepower and low speed, I can do a nice arch like this. And having it be low down allows me to support it for cheap. How cheap you might ask? Hopefully cheap enough. Already I'm getting really close to that $2,000 budget though. So if I take this, flip it, I've got a bit to shave. I haven't shaved in a while, but here goes nothing. You know, shaving would be a whole lot easier actually if this wood piece could just reach. Maybe I'll do that. And flip and paste. It's under budget, but does it have any chance at working? Well, they go at the same time. The yellow car is what does it. It gets a head start before ramming into the bridge. That does have an easy fix. It's just you make it less steep at first. Take the hit of the yellow car. Maybe this will actually be enough because it didn't look like it was doing too bad before. What are you doing? Absolute knob. Have you ever tried pressing the brakes? Just a little adjustments and it can be good. Let's get things straight here, buddy. I'm the one that's not supposed to have regard for your safety. Not you. Ooh. Oh, that was a sick stop though. This car does actually seem to behave differently from the others. So for what it's worth, it feels like an interesting different challenge. I'm gonna get first. This feels very snatchable. It's just $200, how bad could it be? I mean, for starters, I kind of over supported on the left side, at least a little bit. Oh, that was enough to change the trajectory of that truck. Maybe I have to lift these roads up more. Is there anything to stop the yellow truck from nose diving? Oh, it's still too heavy, but uh, I have myself to blame for that. A little bit more tweaking in the center. I think I'm happy about it. Mm, could be happier, but it does just get pretty stressed. Gets me within 100. I can smell it. I think victory is mine as long as this works. I'm rooting on it. I think I'm gonna keep pushing though. I bet I could get a little further. Oh, never mind. I'm $2 off. I have to keep pushing it. Well, now it's not as fun. Just kidding. There's nothing more fun than jeopardizing lives in the name of engineering prestige. Beautiful first place. Let me see what my max shave is. This right here is the absolute furthest I could push it. Lots of micro adjustments. You could just see everything's a lot more streamlined and barely bridge-like. So bendy and flexy. Check this out. 100% max stress, but no breaks. I didn't know I was competing, but somehow I also got the world record for world's most stressed bridge. Whoa, check out this van. It's a mail van, a brown inconspicuous mail van and first level with ropes and cables. I only got 13,250, that's gonna be a tricky one. I think I'll have to arch the crap out of these roads. Oh, that's so expensive. Just out of curiosity, if I only place wood. Yeah, I'm already over. Nope. Well, this isn't any better. There is one saving grace about this design is that I can do an under support. Oh, my poor budget challenge. Even with the baby arch, I'm so expensive. And actually, does this even work? 
I think I actually need to connect it to here. Does this even work? Oh god, probably not. I realize the only possible way I can save budget is if I do a swing. So first you gotta get it up in the air. And I just want to make sure that even works, which it doesn't. And I don't have steel to make things better. Maybe road is better. It is good at compression. Okay. So actually, it was just its lack of horsepower that did it in. But maybe realistically, I just need like a shorter starting point. So the theory is that when it jumps off, it's going to be caught by a rope swing. The only issue is that the rope swing would have to connect to either of these anchors, and both of them are really bad angles. So I think I actually do have to take this out further. Now, this does give me one other possibility, and that would be a rope under support. This uses tension to stabilize the bridge and is surprisingly strong. So that may set up a better swing. Swing distance is about 10 meters, so I have to think about like where it will be at 10 meters throughout its arc. I mean, that's pretty clean. So you set up the cable, you set up a road, and then you just kind of tweak until at some point it can catch it. Come on, smack it. Oh god. Well, that's technically progress, though it may look like anything but. Oh, you see that? Got a little further. I've changed up the tweaking process a little. It's now a two rope swing, so it just kind of keeps a clean arc. I'm trying to wedge the road in between the wheels for as long as possible. So this involves very carefully analyzing the situation and the angles everything is at. How does the truck slip out? It falls backwards. So I think that means making this road longer. Yeah, almost. No way! <coughs> You're telling me the swing was so good it didn't let go? Wow. This proves it's possible. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, it happened. Hold on, let me get a better angle. Screw the angle. I got first place by a shit ton. Get fucked, everybody else. Look at this absolutely beautiful arc with the... It doesn't even backflip. It slides in, lands on its wheels. It can keep driving. I didn't even stop the postal service. What a good bridge builder I am. <laughs> I feel like this level perfectly embodies the spirit of Polybridge. You do anything you can to avoid building a bridge. This also makes me want to see a leaderboard for lightest bridge, because I bet mine would be up there. This level is tutorial-esque. It just starts with pieces here. Well, we won't be needing these. As interesting as the cable stayed bridge is, I've got a budget to be under. And at 17 and a half thousand, I'm gonna have to do something a little better than a cable stayed bridge. However, I may be too broke even for this design. Does this at least work? Oh! Well, pretty handily, actually. Maybe I could make it work. For starters, I don't need these ropes to go all the way now. They could just go to the other ropes. And it actually is a bit less stressed, so that's a good sign. Next thing I can do is actually move up the triangles. At least the ones that aren't in the middle, because I think I still have to get down pretty far. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's a bad shape, though. This should be better, because the rope actually kind of has a bit more of an arch to it. But I gotta save money somewhere, so maybe moving up these triangles will help. Uh, it's still stressed, but I'm getting there. How do I shave $1,500 from this? I don't remember if I can do this sort of modification, where it's like an over-under. That might flex a ton. Oh, it almost worked. I was holding my breath as if that affected the bridge. Maybe it just needs a better over section. Can you imagine? I mean, the flexi bridge could be a champion, people, people's champion. It breaks, but it works. So I know it can be done, thanks to Concord paving the path. Let me try something where these side joints are lowered a bit. Just making them a little bit stronger. Nice! <laughs> That is the dumbest bridge I've made in a while. And I just made a sw rope swing. This next level has unmovable, undeletable roads. Thankfully, they don't cost any money because I have only $6,000 to work with. And somehow I got to make this jump. Well, I can't place any more roads. So clearly the ones that are here have to be enough. Can I simply not make an under support with wood? No, I cannot. Damn, part of the muscle broke. I'm hoping that if I just move it lower, it'll be more sturdy. No, I can afford a steel, but I'll probably need two. Please be enough. It is. 
under half budget. Ah, I'm not even close to first place, but the top score might be achievable. I'll give myself five minutes. So what if I instead did over supports? The benefit is I could anchor them back with rope, also like this. It's just fairly costly, but it is cheaper than what I had before and worse than what I had before. What about a cable stayed jump? It gets really expensive quickly. Is this more expensive than what I had before? Yeah, it's over double budget. Don't even let that complete, it's heresy. Maybe if the sport is wood instead of steel, I can still get it. I think that's cheaper than my current. Sorry, my previous. It is. It's also 99.8% stressed, great. I think there's one thing I'm just not good at this game and it's jumps. Although this jump looks like it's way overshooting the target. What if I just drop off the last road? Say, okay, you're a three road jump now. Have fun. <laughs> there are consequences for every action. Okay, my five minutes are up and I'm immediately rewarded with another jump. This time I gotta build it myself. Oh, we got the DeLorean though, hold on. It came to party and it's got a hell of a head start. I bet it doesn't need much to jump. How about I just try the easiest bridge known to man? There is like no effort put into this thing. And no height either. Screw like actually planning this out. I'm getting closer with every leap. Though eventually the angle does become too steep and then it loses distance, okay. I like that you can actually see the angle that the road is at when you're building it. That's a new feature. I think like 45 degrees is I think the ideal for launching. But if you are to air, it's better to air on the side of less degrees. There any merit to this here jump? It's cool. I think it might be a bit more advantageous to have it be a little shallower. Just by the looks of things, yeah. Okay, that is getting me the results I want. It might be a different angle if it's a car driving off a ramp versus like launching something. No, it definitely is. Evidenced by that. Somehow I still got 10th. When it comes to jumps, half budget is enough for me. But this is gonna be tough. I actually have only 10,000. And a lot of it's already done for me. So it's gonna be tough to actually get to that budget. Yeah, I'm already 2,000 over. And, and this thing weighs eight polygrams? Oh great, yeah, there's no chance in hell. Nope, not even close. This is bad, the uh, wood down here keeps breaking. Maybe I just gotta replace with road? That's my entire problem? Uh, yeah, it is actually. Wow. This is gonna be hard. Or actually will it? Because I've been led astray by the game. The pieces it put down for me are a bait. What if I simply delete the whole thing and just have you drive directly on the rock? Still expensive, but I can work with that. Let's just make sure it works first. Okay, one road support coming up. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Way better, but this also doesn't break. Okay, and the wood is good on the right side. This seems like a much easier shave. Now, I think I was lied to twice, because I used the fill tool. What if I just manually place? Do we think, oh, the bridge will probably still fall? But hear me out, okay? What if I take these pieces, place them, so they actually are balanced on land, like that. The last road doesn't actually need to connect. It just needs to be pretty close. And this might be cheaper, because it's just three pieces even with this extra little mini wood right here. Oh, uh, is it even balanced on the land? It might not be. Now it is 110% balanced on the land, but it is worse. Wait, why isn't it just road? Who says it has to be wood? Like, this is probably better for compression by a lot. It still breaks. I wonder if a double under support would be better. Like you lower this a touch, connect it, connect here. And then this can be lowered. Now, it is more expensive, but that could be managed. Like that? Is there any potential here? No, there ain't. Unless... If I box that out... Oh, boxing out's pretty good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it cheaper than the other side? No. It doesn't need to be cheaper than the other side. I think it's cheaper than what it was, though. Like, this is cheaper than having a road there, so... It's not bad to have. All I need now is 340 off. How hard could it be? Actually, hold on. Can I move up this uh, wall joint? I can. That's the next shaving point. Just $150 to go, taking it 50 bucks at a time because eventually it's too much. 
Now, right side, what can I do with you? Can I lower the arch in the middle? That's like the most dangerous place to lower it, but maybe, maybe if I raise this, I could at least have saved like 40 bucks. Nope, won't even let me have that. Maybe I can save 30 bucks. I can't believe it. 20 bucks, take it or leave it. 10, I'll settle for 10. This isn't even 10, it's like eight. Wow, okay. As funny as it would be to stop here, I have to keep going. Maybe I could just take this joint and move it a bit to the left. Have it still be touching. Yeah, okay, that's an easy shave. Okay, maybe I can do the same on the right side then. Maybe it's like super easy. It's under 10K, please work. Yeah, that one's way more fragile. But maybe there's an in-between spot. I can find $6 a shave. I can find $11 to shave. 23, 37. Okay, 37. I feel like the left bridge still has like the most potential for leeway. What? I didn't even touch the right bridge and it breaks. I swear, you look at that bridge and it just fails. What's wrong with it? Maybe it's fixed by making the left side cheaper. Nothing is fixed by making the left side cheaper. Yeah, it actually is fixed by making the left side cheaper. Seven bucks to go. What if I adjust the roads a little? So like, the triangles are more symmetrical. I'm just getting a little greedy here. Like, the roads are the same, the triangles are just as strong. Well, but now I have a little bit of money to spare for better triangles. Wait, wait, no, instead of better triangles, why don't I just lower the left side, you know, where it's actually breaking? Yeah, finally, okay. That's the ticket. Hardest one? by far. Tune in next time to see how much harder half budget gets. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and peace.